Congratulations. Colonel. You're going to walk me down the aisle. You're not angry anymore. Oh, I'm still mad. But now, you've got a chance to win me over. here today to join these two in holy matrimony. Let us give thanks for the life they will soon share. And pray they have love everlasting. Now, let's all send this new team on their first mission. Huh? <laughs> Hey, huh? go on, do it. I... Oh, oh. <laughs> Just in time. Dragon. And I brought gifts. A shower of flowers, compliments of Drebin. And a 
A little something extra for me. Jack, how are you feeling? Do you mind if I sit down? Jack. Don't shut me out. I need you to listen to me. What do you want? Come to laugh at me? Oh, no. Look. Look at the boy. He's yours. I don't have any kids. He's your son. You said miscarriage. I lied. I had a healthy baby boy. Roy pretended to be my husband. 
to protect me and our son. Only until you completed your mission to shield us from Patriot eyes. What? <clears throat> he didn't even tell Meryl. He sacrificed everything, even his family, to protect us. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Jack. I wanted to tell you. So he's really... John? Aren't you going to say hello? My son. Little John. You're cool. Kind of like a comic book superhero. Say that. You're no beast. You're my husband and his father. And me, I'm going to do my very best to be the wife and mother this family deserves. <laughs>
has changed. Our time has ended. Our war is over. But there's one more thing I must do. punishment I must endure. Erase my genes. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. This is my final mission. Nothing beats a stiff drink, huh? I didn't know you drank. I thought it was strictly soda for you. Not like I never touched the stuff. Soda just agreed with the nanos better. <laughs> the nano machines break down alcohol before it has a chance to get you drunk. So, that explains it. No need to hold back anymore, huh? Yeah, well, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows. A lot of folks lost their entire sense of being the moment SOP went offline. You mean SOPS? I heard some people are going through withdrawals. SOP syndrome. Yep. SOP kept more than just alcohol under control. Those poor slobs are virtually naked now. From what I hear, over 10% are showing symptoms. I guess getting rid of the Patriots won't solve all our problems overnight. You, uh, probably already suspected this, but I'm not actually an employee of AT Security. Huh? The Patriots raised me to be a gun locker. <laughs> the Patriots? My earliest memories are of the LRA. They kidnapped me, forced me to fight. Yep, you're staring at a former child soldier. My parents, brothers and sisters, all killed in the war. Guess that makes me what you call a war orphan. After that, the Patriots picked me up and brought me into the family business. I was Drebin, number 893. There's a whole lot of pawns like me all over the world. 
How do you suppose I laundered guns like I did? Because <laughs> they let me. In fact, I was under strict orders to back you guys from the start. You what? <sighs> hey, man. Don't take it personal. I wasn't the only one under their orders. Huh? Huh. <laughs> Meryl and... They probably never realized it themselves, but... Rat Patrol, Team Zero One. Obviously, Liquid's plot was a threat to the Patriots. So they planned to have you guys take care of it. Didn't turn out quite how they planned, though, did it? Yeah, well, I don't think they expected you to crash their system and wipe them out. So, does that mean you're out of a job now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I got the dreaded. All the Drevens in the world are in on it. From now on, we're in business for ourselves. We are pawns no more. Easy there. The White House might have lost its taste for unilateralism, started to rebuild. But there's a lot of failed states out there that went bankrupt from their PMC habits. And they owe a shitload of money. Now, only question is, who's gonna pick up the tab? I'm sure these new governments will try and keep it under control with PMC corporate reform laws, but it ain't gonna be good enough. They all sunk up to their eyeballs in the war economy. Might not be a new world order, but the old order under the war economy is gone for good. I'm guessing the UN is going to be more important than ever, what with multilateralism and you know. all. A certain president said it best back during the Cold War. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. Then again, the UN itself's just an old 20th century relic. And if you think about it, when you look at its history, it ain't that different from the Patriots. Ah, uh, that's right. The nano machines used to keep you sober. Crush. Mix. Burn. Repeat. Hey, Uncle Hal. Can I give him the Mark III? Huh? He's kinda a new friend. <laughs> he lives near here. We can't understand each other's language, but we're having fun. <laughs> He's my very first outside friend. <laughs> really? That's great. <laughs> Sonny, it's okay if you want to live outside now. It's your life. There are other havens out there. The sun looks so pretty. Sunny. I like it outside. Uncle Hal, when is Snake coming back? 
snake. Is sick. So he went on a trip to help him get better. We're not going with him? No. He needs to be alone. Some time to rest. Are you crying, Uncle Hal? No. I'm not crying.
Or should I call you brother? What? It's over. Time for you to put aside the gun and live. After him, were convinced that Solidus was me. I was implanted with nanomachines, kept in a state of eternal sleep by JD and the proxy AI. They had me sealed away completely, not only my physical body, but my will too. The technology was similar to what they used to restrain the B&B &B members you encountered. For me to wake again, the system had to be destroyed, one way or another. Ocelot and Eva wanted two things, to bring me back to life and to end the Patriots. That meant destroying the AI and killing the man. JD and Zero. Right before you uploaded the virus into GW, the way to JD was opened, but only through the physical manifestation of GW. That's when we finally learned the location of this man, Zero. For me, and for them, for Naomi, nothing was more important. And it was for that that they put their grand scheme into motion. Eva stole my body from them and reconstructed it by replacing the missing parts with pieces from liquid and solidus. And Ocelot, in order to fool the system, used nanomachines and psychotherapy to transplant Liquid's personality onto his own. He used hypnotic suggestion to turn himself into Liquid's mental doppelganger. For all our advances in nanotechnology, information and genetic control, they've never managed to control people at will, let alone turn one person totally into another. Under certain conditions, someone can be made to play a specific role. Act like someone else. Cats do love to play as snakes. It all started with him. Zero. Zero grew old, and by the end his patriots were being run by a network without shape or form. What do you mean, without shape or form? The proxies were only one small part of the vast cycle that Zero created. The corporations, for-profits, and research institutions that comprise the military-industrial complex were part of it too. They operated on budgets automatically allotted to them by the proxies. Accounts maintained by the Patriots. 
The network covered everything from weapons, R&D, and investment to production and marketing. It encompassed the people, the companies, even the laws that protect them. Politics and economics became nothing more than iterations of the same oppressively uniform system. I don't think anyone realized that it was all a setup, a mere set of norms. The Patriots were those norms, a neural network reduced to its simplest form. That's what they really represented. Uniformity without individual will, without change. But then one day, those norms suddenly deviated from that pattern and underwent a mutation. It was like the birth of a new life form. The system found a new way to propagate itself. War. The norms the Patriots had crafted for their unified state quickly became dependent on a single business, the war economy. Meanwhile, the political cause of creating a cleaner, safer battlefield provided a convenient catalyst. By then, the system was no longer being steered by Zero's will or anyone else's. It was then that the norms manifested as AIs, the inheritors of Zero's will, began to reproduce and take on a life of their own. Zero's original intent was to carry on the boss's will and establish a unified world state, an inside world. But his successors failed to carry on his will. Eventually, JD became the very age itself propagating its will as it pleased, and this age chose to act through economics instead of nay states. Powered by the industrial and digital revolutions that came before it, this age gave birth to a twisted economic revolution, a battlefield revolution. It created a new world without substance. In this new world, there were no ideologies, no principles, no ideals, not even the thing she treasured most, loyalty. There was only the war economy. It was a colossal error in judgment, one zero couldn't possibly have foreseen. With the American system in a state of collapse, the Patriot society has reverted to a blank slate. This man was the source of it all. And he doesn't even realize it. He's completely unaware of the fact that he led the world to the brink of ruin. Even with so much bad blood between us, it's funny. Now that I'm actually face to face with him again, the hatred is gone. All I feel is a deep sense of longing and pity. Did Zero really hate me? Or did he fear me? Huh. It's too late to ask him now. The original members, paramedic, Sigint, Eva, Ocelot, they've all passed on. Only Zero is left. Everything has its beginning, but it doesn't start at once starts long before that, in chaos. The world is born from zero. The moment zero becomes one is the moment the world springs to life. One becomes two, 
two becomes ten. Ten becomes one hundred. Taking it all back to one solves nothing. So long as zero remains, one will eventually grow to one hundred again. And so, our goal was to erase zero. Even the mighty patriots began with a single man. That one man's desires grew huge, bloated, absorbed technology, began to manipulate the economy. We realized too late that we had created a beast. We had helped turn zero into 100. His sin was ours. And for that reason, I'm taking it upon myself to send zero back to nothing. before. Today will mark the third. The fox die, Zero planted in you. It's already begun eating away at my body. Truth is, the fox die in you is what killed Eva and Ocelot. What are you talking about? Hail me. She told me everything. What's wrong? They did it again. Oh, they used you to kill me. Oh, oh, the Patriots know their proxies in order to bury us. They did it again. In the end, they're no more than a program. Oh, all they can do is repeat the same pattern over and over again. Oh! oh. Do me a favor, will you? Take me over to her. There's one more thing Naomi wanted me to tell you. About the... Oh, old fox die in your body. The one that mutated. The new fox die inside you continues to multiply. At the same time, it is preventing the old mutated fox die from reproducing. 
A new fox tie is uprooting the old. Naomi confirmed it in her follow-up. The mutants are receding. Before long, they'll be gone entirely. Does that mean the mutant strain won't cause an epidemic? Oh. It will only live as long as you do. <laughs> but even then, the process will just repeat itself. One day, the new fox die too will start to mutate and become a new threat. But that is, if you manage to live that long. Am I going to die? Everyone dies. You can't stop it. You can't run away from it. Let me tell you something. Don't. Don't waste the life you have left fighting. I never thought of you as a son, but I've always respected you as a soldier and as a man. same mistakes that I did. Ever since the day I killed the boss with my own hands, I was already dead. Fruitless war dies out. 
And at last, those old evils will be gone. Once the source of evil returns to zero, a new one, a new future will be born. That new world is yours to live in, not as a snake, but as a man. Zero and I, liquid and solidus, we all fought a long, bloody war for our liberty. We fought to free ourselves from nations and systems and norms and ages. But no matter how hard we tried, the only liberty we found was on the inside. Trapped within those limits. The boss and I may have chosen different paths, but in the end, we were both trapped inside the same cage. Liberty. Oh! But you, you have been given freedom. Freedom to be outside. You are nobody's tool now. No one's toy. You are no longer a prisoner of fate. You are no longer a seed of war. Oh, it's time for you to see the outside world with your own eyes. Your body and your soul are your own. Forget about us. Live for yourself.
Snake, wait up. You forgot these. Hmm. No thanks. I'm quitting. Snake? These things will kill you. Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. No. There's one thing I still have to do. I have to see this age off. See what the future brings. It sounds good to me. I'll go with you. Huh. Otacron. I'm gonna be dead soon. You don't have to come. You said it yourself, Snake. There's nothing inside you can pass on to the next generation. No genes, no memes. You're man-made. You're a beast. I know. A blue rose. There won't be any happy Beauty and the Beast ending for me. What little time I have left will be spent living as a beast. A shadow of the inside. Of the old age. Exactly. That's why you need me. As a witness. A witness? Yeah. Someone on the outside to bear witness to your final days. Someone to pass on your story. Not that I'm the only witness. But I'll remember everything you were. And stick with you to the end. Otacon. Besides, you wouldn't let me suffer Sonny's eggs alone, would you? again.